Welcome in the Ravens Rundown by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here. Thanks for joining us. Coming up on today's show, we're talking about OBJ, Nelson Aguilar, and we're going to take time to remember Ryan Mallett after his passing. We'll get to all of that in a matter of moments. Before we do, folks, we are getting closer and closer by the day to 10,000 subscribers, but we still need your help to get there. Just 127 more away. <laughs> you may be saying to yourself, why should I subscribe? Well, you're going to get daily news and rumor segments here on the channel. We do mailbags from time to time. We do live shows uh, as well. And we're going to do watch parties for some of the more key games throughout the season. So, come on in stay a while. Subscribe now for free. Join the flock. And if you subscribe, the Ravens are more likely to win football games. That's what I'm told anyway. So, sub for dubs. Subscribe now for free. Turn on notifications so you never miss a moment. We'll get started with today's show. So OBJ was not around during OTAs. He was at mandatory minicamp. And that raised some eyebrows. Of all that money you spent on OBJ, he hasn't played football in quite some time. New system coming in. Why was he not there? Well, we got an explanation. As OBJ did an interview with Fox News Digital, of all places, and this is what OBJ had to say. He explained his reasoning. I think the excitement when I signed with Baltimore, me not being there, we have to get to the place where we understand that all of that stuff, OTAs, is voluntary. And each individual has their own lives, and we don't know what's going on with the individual and their life. I think I'm at the place where I have that one more notch that I'm kicking into, and I'm trying to save it because these seasons are long, man. It's all about peaking at the right moment. It's built with reps in the game and seeing that success there. It starts with being able to communicate and talk off the field. I don't care if the quarterback was a rookie. You tell me what you need me to do, and I'll get that done, and we adjust from there. So, simple as that. He's uh, saving himself. It's been the summer of OBJ uh, as he signed that one-year deal worth $15 million. And if you've seen the rest of the wide receiver market this year, looks like OBJ did pretty good on the contract that he got from Baltimore, all things considered. Coming uh, back from that torn ACL that he suffered in the Super Bowl a couple years ago, uh, was at mandatory minicamp, though. And the report that we got from minicamp as far as his injury status is that he's a full go, that he is – there and ready to go. And one thing that I would say that I would not worry about him missing OTAs is that very last line on the graphic. And pause the video if you need to, or whatever, folks, to read that carefully, because I think it's a very important point here. He's played in this system before under Todd Munkin in Cleveland. And that was the last season that OBJ had over a thousand receiving yards in 2019. So I say it's much to do about nothing. I am not worried, not concerned about OBJ not going to OTAs. I don't think it's a big deal, personally. He very well could lead the Ravens in receiving, potentially. Granted, it's an interesting wide receiver room this year with Rashad Bateman coming back, Say Flowers, Nelson Aguilar, more on him in just a second. I want to know, will OBJ lead the Ravens in receiving? Chime in the comments section. Type OBJ for yes. Type no, BJ for no. We have exclusive rights now to this type of weigh-in, by the way. Uh, that's how that works here at Chat Sports. Let me know. Will OBJ lead the Ravens in receiving? OBJ for yes. No, BJ for no. Let me know in the comment section below. ESPN has named Nelson Aguilar as the Ravens offseason breakout star with what he was able to do. And I got to tell you, we talked about him quite a bit over the last several weeks of how much he stood out to Lamar Jackson, the coaching staff, the media that was there. Uh, he made quite the impact, the impression on everybody that saw Nelson Aguilar get involved in his first offseason here in Baltimore. This is from ESPN uh, about why they named him their offseason breakout star. Aguilar, a first rounder in 2015, is on his fourth team in five years, but he has made a strong impression in his first offseason with the Ravens. Nelly, as Lamar Jackson calls him, has reportedly stood out, whether it's a long touchdown grab or a nifty grab on a back shoulder throw. 
Aguilar is the clear-cut number four wide receiver in Baltimore, but he's making the case for having a bigger role in the passing game. I think Nelson Aguilar has been sneaky good his entire career. You go back to that Super Bowl the Eagles won several years ago, they wouldn't have won it without Nelson Aguilar. I think that he's better than what people give him credit for, and I think he's going to be a nice fit in this Baltimore offense, quite frankly. We're talking about him being the number four receiver in this receiving room. At the time that he was signed, it was, okay, is he your number two or three or four? I think everybody at the time was like, Nelson Aguilar's fine, but I sure hope there's more guys that come along with that. And so Nelson Aguilar, as your number four, you're feeling great about, as far as I'm concerned. One year, $3.25 million is what he got paid. You're more than happy. You're thrilled to have him along in this role that he's going to take on here with the Baltimore Ravens and the work that he's put in over the last few weeks. He's impressed, and I'm excited to see what he puts together uh, for a potential bounce-back season. The numbers from Nelson Aguilar. Last year in New England, had 31 catches, 362 yards, two touchdowns. He's never had a 1,000-yard season in his career, but I got to tell you, as your number four guy, if he could just do what he did in 2021, what he did in 2020 would be really nice. But if he could just do what he did in 2021, I think the Ravens would be more than thrilled, personally, as far as that goes. So watch out Nelson Aguilar making some noise in this offseason so far to this point. So what do you think? Will Nelson Aguilar continue that into regular season success? If you think he will, type Y for yes. If not, type in for no. Chat in the comment section. Let me know one way or the other how you feel. Why for yes, in for no. Will Nelson Aguilar have a good season or not? Let me know what you think. The 4th of July is just around the corner as we celebrate Independence Day here in the good old U.S. of A. And I got good news for you, Ravens fans. You can not only rock out with your flock out, but also you can be wearing the stars and stripes as well while we'll representing your favorite team. Great combination. What better duo than the Baltimore Ravens and the U.S. of A., right? You can get this shirt right in time for the 4th of July at chatsports.com slash Ravens USA. I got to tell you, it looks fantastic. And I got to tell you, it would be quite the combination if you showed up to your 4th of July barbecue uh, with both looking patriotic and representing your favorite team at the same time. That's a win-win as far as I'm concerned. Get yours now, chatsports.com slash Ravens USA. They get yours today. That's jetsports.com slash RavensUSA. One final note before we wrap up on today's show. Some unfortunate news this week. The former Ravens quarterback Ryan Mallett passed away on Tuesday at the age of 35. According to a local news source, the incident occurred at a Florida beach. Mallett was transported from the beach to the hospital where he was ultimately pronounced dead. The uh, career for Ryan Mallett uh, started out at the University of Michigan, ultimately transferred to Arkansas, and was very solid there as a two-time All-SEC performer. Went on to the New England Patriots as a third-round pick in 2011 and spent the uh, first five seasons of his career with the Patriots and the Texans, ultimately ended up with the uh, Ravens in 2015 for three years after that. And most recently, he had gotten into coaching at the high school level. Uh, he was at White Hall High School in Arkansas is uh, where he was last at. And uh, this is a statement from uh, Ravens head coach John Harbaugh on Mallet's passing. Our hearts go out to Ryan's family. Uh, and we offer our every condolence to them. Ryan was a part of us. I will always remember the love he had for his teammates and for making the most of and enjoying every football day while here. Once a Raven, always a Raven. R.I.P. Ryan. Uh, what's your favorite memory of Ryan Mallett? Uh, you know, I, I enjoyed his college days personally when he was at Arkansas. I know Ravens fans think back to the infamous Steelers game when they were a 10-point underdog and found a way to win that football game. What comes to mind? What's your favorite memory of Ryan Mallett? Let us know in the comments section and uh, tell us what comes to mind when you think of Ryan Mallett. A statement from the Ravens as well, as they said, they were saddened to learn of the passing of Ryan Mount. Uh, Ryan was a tremendous person and a loyal teammate. He had an infectious personality, and throughout his time as a Raven, Ryan's charisma and joy for being around the team were constantly on display. 
Our heartfelt condolences are with the Mallet family during this difficult time. Ryan Mallet, dead at the age of 35.